Hello friends. Today was such a great day in the house of the Lord. It is. It started out to be a yuppie day, but it turned out to be such a beautiful one. Still a little chilly, so I got my jacket on when I'm out here, but still a beautiful day. So something interesting happened though. Uh, this week, this weekend actually, as I was doing some things around the house, I turned on a record. Um, I say a record. Uh, one of the albums of um, J.J. Heller. I don't know if you've ever heard of her. She does a lot of really beautiful music. Uh, and one song in particular, though, a lot of her songs are not Christian, they're just sweet songs, there's nothing wrong with them at all, but one in particular that came up uh, on the playlist is called Coming Home. It says, Grandma's picture on the wall, Dad's piano in the hall, the clock on the mantel broke a long time ago, there's a feeling inside no money can buy, there's nothing quite like coming home. And I fell apart. You see, I no longer really have a place to call home, the place where I grew up. There was so much sin that separated me from people that I made no long-lasting relationships. Uh, and I left there with my head hung, and so there's never been a place to go back to. And when my mama passed away, uh, there's just been so much lost in that time. And so I never really, I have not felt like that I had a real place to go back home. However, then, this morning, uh, during church singing a song that we often sing I am who you say I am you could probably hear it playing in the background and you know this part we, we sing these ones yeah I am who you say I am uh, I am chosen not forsaken I am who you say I am you are for me not against me who the Sun sets free oh is free indeed and of course I can raise my arms and shake my head to this but there's a spot in this song that hasn't hit me until today and I believe the Lord reserved it for today in my father's house, there is a place for me. I am a child of God. Yes, I am. And I knew in that moment, while I don't have uh, necessarily an earthly home uh, with my family, you know, the old house with the picket fence and the big porch, I don't have that. But I have a forever home in, in eternity, yes, in my father's house. And in the meantime, I have a place in his heart that will take care of me <laughs> all I need. It's hard because sometimes there's not the earthly love that we expect. But friends, I tell you, as you head into the week to come, know that He is for you. He is not against you. And you really are who, you, who He says you are, which is loved, chosen, forgiven, and free. So, the only thing that you've got to do is live like it. The scripture says that uh, we uh, were bought with a price, therefore we should honor him with our bodies. I challenge you, it's hard to be faithful, especially in the holiday seasons, to take care of these bodies and to do what is best, but you've got a reason, you've got a purpose that is greater. You are who he says you are, you have a home, you are cared for, and again, you're free. Galatians 5.1, he has set you free, so therefore don't return to the yoke of slavery. That's just it. Proverbs. What does it say? Um, that don't be like, don't be a man that returns to folly like a dog returns to vomit. <laughs> Anyways, so there's your funny thing to head out on this week. Don't return to vomit. Know who you are in Christ. <laughs> Have a great week. Bye.